Hi, so this video is going to serve as an introduction to the ras ras mech erc pathway. This is a very important intracellular signaling pathway that plays a major role in cellular prolifer pl proliferation. So when cells are getting a signal to go from G1 to S phase, virtually all cells um, signal through this pathway. Um, not all, but most. And uh, it, uh, this pathway is often dysregulated in human cancers. So it's very important to understand the ras raf mech erc pathway. Um, uh, as I mentioned, in cancer cells, uh, this pathway is almost always active. So it's, all, so it's constantly telling cells, time to go through the cell cycle, we need more cells. Um, why is this pathway active? So there are two main reasons why this pathway could be active. Uh, two common reasons. One are mutations in genes that make the proteins in this pathway. So there's a protein we're going to learn about called RAS, oh, and a protein we're going to learn about called RAF. Uh, both of them are commonly mutated in human cancer. So if they're mutated, we'll see how that can trigger uh, a pro-growth state for cells. Uh, the other common way that this pathway is commonly dysregulated in human cancers is something upstream, something that controls this pathway, feeds into it. And what feeds into this pathway? Most receptor tyrosine kinases feed into this pathway. They stimulate the ras raf mech erc pathway. So when we talk about what drives cancer and when we talk about treatments for cancer, um, we have to usually talk about the ras raf mech erc pathway. It's so essential to understanding the proliferation of normal human cells in the body and the proliferation of cancer cells. So this slide is a very brief overview of the ras raf mech erc pathway. And if you look online and if you just Google that, you'll see drawings that are very similar to this. But what does this mean? Well, we're going to take everything step by step. This is actually a very complicated pathway. Um, those arrows between all those proteins, the arrows between SOS and RAS, that's complicated. The arrow between RAS and RAF, that's complicated. So uh, we're going to learn in later videos the functions of all these proteins. Grab 2, SOS, RAS, RAF, MEC, ERK. You'll see the pathway that I've drawn here starts at a receptor. So this is a growth factor receptor, also known as a receptor tyrosine kinase. And this pathway goes from the receptor into the cytoplasm, into the nucleus, and actually results in the uh, transcription of genes. So genes get turned on, um, genes get activated, and these genes are going to help move the cell from G1 phase into S phase. So we're going to see how a signal is sent from the outside of a cell with a growth factor receptor, signaling or some other receptor can feed into this pathway through uh, these proteins, GRAB2, SOS, RAS, RAF, MEC, and ERC. So we're going to have to know all the functions of all these proteins, and I'm going to give you the very sort of simplistic version. There are plenty of other proteins that feed into this pathway. I can draw a lot more arrows and a lot more proteins, but I'm just going to give you this version here. And once we take this apart, you can then add uh, all sorts of regulation into this pathway. Um, but we're going to learn this regulation going from receptor tyrosine kinases all the way down to ERK and into the nucleus. And again, it's important to, to uh, understand this pathway because it is commonly dysregulated in human cancers. So where and why? Um, so when we talk about mutations, mutations in genes that code proteins, um, in this pathway, the mutations you'll find in genes that code receptor tyrosine kinases or their growth factors, mutations in the RAS gene or mutations in the RAF gene. Uh, virtually all human cancers have one of these mutated, sometimes multiple ones mutated. So it's very important to understand how all of these proteins function how they interact with one another, how they regulate one another. The other reason that we study this pathway, and like I said, this is a pro-growth pathway. So when this pathway is active due to mutations in the growth factor receptors or RAS or RAF, cells are always thinking, time to go into S phase. We need more cells. So cells are constantly going through the cell cycle if this pathway is always active, as it is in many human cancers. But the other reason to know this pathway is because it is also um, uh, 
treatable. It's also targetable. So there are drugs that are designed to inhibit enzymes in this pathway. And so um, two of the most common places in this pathway are using drugs to stop the growth factor receptors, such as tyrosine kinases, uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors that stop the phosphorylation of the receptor, or other inhibitors, and we'll see RAF is a, a very good target for compounds. We'll have to talk about what RAF is. Um, you can inhibit RAF, you can inhibit the growth factor receptors, and if you inhibit those, it is possible to inhibit this signal and get cells to stop going through the cell cycle, which would be great for treating human cancers. So uh, we are going to go through all of these proteins um, on this slide. We're going to learn about GRAB2, SOS, RAS, RAF, MEC, and ERK, and how they are all how they all are regulated and how they are dysregulated in human cancers.